Hey guys, it's Three Still. Welcome back to another video. And as you can hear, I have a new mic. Now, this might come as a huge shock. I might sound like a completely different person to a lot of you guys, but this is a long due upgrade. Finally here, you know, I've had it for a couple days, probably almost a half a week, maybe. I don't know. But we're ready to record a video. And today I just have a quick little video for you guys, just to kind of demonstrate my new mic and kind of show off something pretty quick and helpful, just so I don't have to make a whole 20 minute. Uh, video, you know, but anyways uh, Today's video is if you didn't see by the title how to optimize your builds now Here's gonna be three biggest tips for optimizing builds. It's gonna be building and uh, Including lights as well because lighting is a, a big thing on performance the actual individual point surface and spotlights Now let's just get into it I'm gonna show off some of these buildings here and some from a different game and just kind of show you how you can quickly and easily optimize some stuff now, going over here, one of the easiest tips I have for you is making a trim or um, kind of a strip of paint or color on a wall without having twice the amount of parts. Now, normally you would do it like, a, let me just change my anchor back. Normally you would have it like this. This would be two parts and you'd have a purple strip in between. But no, this solution is just easily gonna make it so you can have two parts and not, it, make, it reduces lag if you have this uh, going across the entire building. This would have been probably an extra, you know, like 20 parts just having the extra top part there. Basically, all you do is let's actually demonstrate over here. I'll spawn in a new part. We're just going to make it uh, a little bit like a wall. There we go. And we're just going to scale this down. And let's change the color. Let's make it a bright red just so you can kind of uh, see what we're working with. Now, you're going to have Z fighting. But the easiest thing to do is to go down here. Let me make this a little bigger. And you open up size. And you're going to want to find which values you want to change. If you spawn on a part normally without rotating it, <clears throat> it's going to be X and Z. So all we do is go here, point zero zero five. That's usually what I go with. And uh, also go to Z and do point zero zero five. Now, there you go. Um, that just makes it not Z fight. And you can't even notice the difference. I mean, you can go a little bit smaller if you want. Uh, but if you do like point zero zero one, the thing with that is that if you get kind of uh, a little bit too far away, you'll start seeing Z fighting. Let me see if I can demonstrate that here. But usually 0 0.005 is a safe bet that nobody will really notice. And it'll just help optimize your builds a lot. Now, it doesn't seem like a huge chore because if you're just, you know, uh, duplicating uh, the part that you already started with and that is going along with it, then it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. Um, there we go. Yeah, so I think 001 is fine as well. But yeah, as you can see here, we eventually start getting some Z fighting. So just kind of go with a safe bet, like 0 0.005. You can go a little bit lower, maybe to 0.004. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. That's basically the, that tip. Now we're going to move on to the next tip, which is actually involving lighting. So I'm going to have to hop into a different studio place real quick, just so I can show off this one, just because there's not really any lights in this one. Now we loaded up another studio place here, just with some more kind of buildings, but... Um, we're going to be showing you a tip to reduce lag with lights. Now, it's going to be handy to have the light editor plugin or light toggle because this allows you to see every single light in your game, whether it be point light, spotlight, or surface light. Now, all these little dots are going to be a light source, and we're going to see that. Take a look at this building, for example. So this building only has three lights total, but everything is nice and lit up. This is kind of the uh, benefit of using surface lights. Now, I'm going to show you here. This building hasn't had the amount of lights reduced. So you can see every single light uh, has a light source in it, which is not good for performance because this is probably at least almost two dozen light sources in that entire building. Compared to this building, which is huge and probably has about maybe 50 at maximum. And some of those aren't even uh, the ones on the ceiling. Now, look at this. So this entire hallway right here is a single light and this is uh why you should use surface lights because surface lights take the shape of the uh the part and that's how they have the light now how exactly did i do this so we're gonna go here actually and we're gonna look at these let me get to a little bit less of a distracting spot somewhere like right here okay now say you want this light source to cover both of these lights without having two individual light sources now we're gonna go ahead and click on this light source or find that in your game if you don't have the plugin and you're going to want to just delete that and then you want to go over to this part you're going to duplicate the part that the light is in you're going to scale it out make it transparent and then delete the light source from here 
and now you have a single light to cover both of these lights so it looks like um they're both emitting light when there's really only one invisible part now you don't have to do that in the exactly or exactly in the part you can just make a part and then use those and move those around that'd probably be a little bit easier but we're gonna do it in here too so there's three lights here we're gonna move two of them we're gonna take this one duplicate it make it invisible and then we're gonna scale it out and then we're gonna go back here and just delete the original light now this like entire room is now covered by uh, just one single light and that's how i made long hallways use basically one light that's like six lights five six lights right there and it's covering the entire hallway now let's look at these you see this entire um this entire bank right here only uses two lights one for the entire floor you know don't actually you don't have to do this make it cover the entire floor i only did it just to keep the light kind of uh bright but i'll show you kind of the benefit of splitting up a, just a little bit because if you split up just a little bit then you're not gonna have a uh, uh if you don't split up then you're not gonna have any shadows so if you split up a little bit like here these six lights have a light source and then these six lights over here also have a light source now that just kind of adds uh, shadows in the middle instead of um you know doing this let me just demonstrate real quick instead of just doing this and not having any shadows in the middle so generally don't put a single light in every single little light you have that's not good for performance uh lights are extremely laggy um in huge quantities especially in dense areas i figured this out the hard way with my vibe game vibe miami from almost like two years ago or something there are uh, not two years ago like last year but that game had a ton of lights and it was not good on performance especially because the map was kind of such a dense area but on to the next tip we're going to be looking at our last building tip for today and then we're going to go and just kind of wrap things up there now we're going to be taking a look at these grocery stores now i'm going to show you the shelves now this is kind of um a good sort of thing you can do with any sort of prop you can do this with rack shelves anything you can do it with um entire bookshelves you can do it with any sort of rectangular prop now if you look here these books or uh, these um store shelves are only one part for the gray bit i don't know why that's there ignore that but yeah they're supposed to be one part just like this i can get rid of these but by having one or uh, having two parts just like that one on the top and then one on the bottom that reduces um the part count instead of having two parts for every single shelf now you can see i did divide the shelves up kind of um so these are their own parts but the thing with that is i just kind of did it so it doesn't look like one big long kind of bar like this you can do that if you want but personally my preference is just go with this just because you know um it's not really gonna affect it that much i mean you know it could but realistically this is the only store uh the only store of this size at least and it's not going to be a huge amount of parts anyways but generally if you have big games then you do want to find ways to sort of work around the part count and that that's also kind of two tips in one because you can see these shelves instead of being six parts for one shelf it's only three because this one goes all the way through now it's a pretty uh, straightforward technique and if you kind of didn't think about that then there you go handy little way instead of just you know duplicating because i know people love to duplicate they love to just select these parts and say they're like this they just love to duplicate them to the other side when really it's as simple as just scaling them to the other side now actually one more thing i wanted to talk about um with our first tip is you can use it for a lot more than just kind of having uh having stripes on things like this is using the same technique here but you can see a couple studs away we have the same technique just not used as a uh, strip of color it's actually the monitor the monitor is only two parts instead of having an entire frame with multiple parts like that it's just two parts one for the screen and then one for the uh the monitor like uh, plastic part whatever same technique just um scale it out slightly so it goes in you can scale it at the back just so it doesn't stick out the back but there you go you can notice anything i could have done them with these if i wanted i could have done them with the uh, the signs if i wanted but that's a really really handy way just to kind of you know avoid having almost triple or quadruple or quintuple or whatever um times the amount of parts that you really can be uh, realistically looking at now 
if you guys did enjoy those tips, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, join the Dev Center Discord. Um, and also, I do have a Patreon for those that stuck around and enjoy the content. Once I get back into particles and stuff, I will have my uh, Patreon rewards going up. But if that's interesting to you, uh, go down to the description. You know, if you subscribe to it, then you get all the lighting and particles seen in my videos. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe. We're, gonna, uh, we're trying to hit 5K by summer, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.